Time for a mark review stuff on a project that actually showed up on Indiegogo to start with. And I'm talking about Meka brand Toy Brick Tape. Now, this was an Indiegogo project initially, and I was so excited about it that I almost backed their project, but instead I was like, it's not something I need. Okay, well, all of a sudden it shows up in our local Walmarts in this area in Utah County, and we had to get some. So it, it is six and a half feet long, or two meters. I mean, that's not an exact conversion ratio, but six and a half feet long, and you can buy it in two different kinds. So they have a, a two dot wide one, and then they have this wider four dot. So we bought the four dot, um, this ran us about 12 or 13 bucks, I think. And they say that you can stick it to anywhere, any surface. Um, it had instructions in there. They, they have patents pending, etc., etc. The hardest part of this that I have found is just getting this backing off it. So from, from top to bottom, you can see that it's flexible. So it can kind of go around any any surface. It could go around the corner of a wall or a desk or something like that. In this case, my daughter has requested that I put this strip right here against her door frame. And then there's another smaller piece that I'll put next to it. But um, while I'm talking about this, I'll explain how it works. So it's this flexible rubber top layer that your Legos can stick to. And then underneath that, they have a layer of you know, similar in, in uh, consistency to like a rubber cement. And on top of that is a really, really thin piece of plastic to keep it from sticking to itself or anything else until you're ready. And that piece of plastic is like the inside of a fruit roll-up. So it's super thin and it's stuck to something that's super sticky. So I'm doing this in real time so you can see how difficult it is. I wish there were an easier way of getting it off, and I'm going to try the other corner instead. Sometimes if you don't have luck with one, you can have luck with the other. Come on. Oh, oh, it's coming. Okay. So now you can kind of see, right? It peels off. There's this really sticky layer. It's like a, I don't know, it's similar to like a command strip type thing. Now it does say not to put it on um, a painted surface. So I'm going to stick it right here on this paint in this bedroom. Um, we found last night when I put the first one on in my son's room that it actually fell down overnight and I think that was because I hadn't held it on hard enough after I applied it. So there are no real instructions. It comes with a little piece of paper on the inside. This is made in Hong Kong, China. Okay, there we go. There are no real instructions other than a small piece of paper inside that gives you some of those warnings about not putting it on a painted surface and stuff like that. So um, some of this is just figured out as you go. As far as you know, getting this strip off and how long I need to hold it on, etc. But I would recommend holding it on for a while. And I need a Lego. We have a Lego piece in here. Let me see. No? Oh, in this, right here. No, no Legos. Hey, do you want to go get me a Lego really fast? Sneaky. Ow. I <laughs> just whacked this desk. Go, you can walk. Just walk, fast. There goes my daughter. She's gonna go get a Lego to put on this. Come on, get a Lego. Go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get a Lego minifig while they hold this on here. Okay. Okay. Come on, give it to me. All right, so I got a, a Sensei Wu from the Lego movie. Okay, this, or from the Lego Ninjago movie. This just came in the minifig set that's out right now. 
So really only a couple places on a minifig that you can stick it onto this. So it'd be right here or kind of on the back, but this particular minifig is wearing a little apron thing, but okay. So it is as easy as just sticking them to the wall, except this hat keeps flying off. There you go. You see that? I have a minifig on the wall now. So this is kind of a good uh, decorative thing for a kid's bedroom, something like that. Uh, it's maybe a good conversation piece if you wanted to put this up on your desk at work. And again, six and a half feet of this stuff will run you about 12 to 13 bucks. The, the one that's half as wide, it's the one that just gives you two across, uh, that one was less than $10. I will leave a link in the description below to where you can go pick up your own. Um, you know, the possibilities are really kind of endless. I know that sounds cheesy, but you can put this anywhere you want. You can put it any direction you want. You can put it over the corner of a desk, um, a computer monitor, whatever. Um, in this case, my daughter wants me to keep going and put another section right here so she has an even wider spot on the wall. So I'll do that after this. Okay, link in the description below to where you can pick up your own. I'm going to stick Sensei Wu back on here. Like he's... And that hat, though. I don't know about that. There we go. He is on his way, journeying up to the mountain to seek more wisdom. <laughs> Link in the description below to where you can pick up uh, part of this Mecha Lego strip. Not Lego. Toy brick tape. And unfortunately for them, it's probably just a matter of time before the actual Lego company comes out with their own. Um, something like this. It says, you know, all rights reserved, patent pending, but I can't imagine that Lego is very happy about this. So watch for that disruptive innovation to be reappropriated or at least just acquired by Lego. Um, in the meantime, it's fun. You can go around corners and be in a straight application like this. And it's compatible with any Lego bricks, including Duplo, which you could put on here, but you would have to get this wider one. All right. It's enough of that. Subscribe to this channel by clicking here on my shoulder, like a pirate's parrot. And over here on this side, next to this Lego strip, I mean, make a toy brick strip, toy brick tape. Check out the other videos that I've made for this channel. Thanks.